Good morning, I'm Steve O'Hare from Signal Centre and today is Wednesday the 3rd of November. Welcome to the commodities. We're taking a look at energy this morning. We're taking a look at the technical analysis behind um, the different time frames. And we're going to look at WTI, we're going to look at Brent and we're also going to look at natural gas. So let's dive in. So we'll start with uh, WTI crude oil. The weekly chart is remains in an impulsive move higher. We have posted on the weekly chart, we posted a hanging man candle last week, which is negative for sentiment. And um, there is potential for a correction. We really don't know where this fifth wave will finish, but we know it shouldn't be longer than this, the third wave higher. And uh, we are approaching decent resistance um, up above the levels just now. We've got a 78.6% Fibonacci retracement level. Uh, coming in at 87.64, we've also got previous resistance um, at 87.89. Um, so it looks like we've had a little bit of a stall in the uptrend. Uh, this could be based on dollar strength as well. We've got uh, an OPEC plus meeting, which uh, is uh, providing a cautious tone. Uh, but the underlying sentiment has held firm, although uh, in the last few hours, we've seen a little bit of a correction. Let's take a look at the daily chart. The daily chart has got this nice bullish trend channel, uh, which we are testing today. We've got oil inventories out later as well. So be aware of that. The volatility is expected to pick up with the OPEC plus meeting tomorrow. On the four hour chart as well, we have the trend channel showing here. And uh, this is uh, drawn through slightly different lines and uh, but does show that we are um, potentially testing it and uh, breaking it at the moment. So be aware of that. The hourly chart we'll have a look at will be below the Ichimoku cloud. So uh, selling occurring and the move lower uh, could potentially have an extension uh, based on how the oil inventories uh, come out later. Taking a look at uh, Brent, there's a little bit of a different level on the weekly chart. We still haven't taken out the 2018 October high and that comes in at 86.62. We have posted two negative weekly candles. It's a evening doji star formation and uh, looks potentially that a correction is imminent. On the daily chart, similar sort of price action we do have a uh, the, the trend channel isn't so clear here if anything we've broken the trend channel this would be the trend challenge drawn on the charts and we have broken it in a similar fashion we actually closed slightly below it uh, yesterday and today has taken us through it support coming in at 8146 below there we should see a move to take out the $80 level down towards 7880 so for our chart again showing that break of that trend channel natural gas that has had a fair old move over the last few days since uh, last Thursday we had this big sell-off we've drawn a nice little trend line in and potential trend line we're looking for resistance to come in around at these previous highs but the sell-off we saw from last thursday quite a serious 17 percent sell-off so the volatility remains really elevated in natural gas as we've come to expect yesterday we saw a bullish engulfing candle almost like a marabuzo candle so that should find support around about the 543 level usually about 50 percent of a candle like that provides support although volume as you can see is dropping off slightly so uh, wouldn't be as as reliant on that on the four hour chart we're sort of mid-range we've seen uh, the stall in price action just below the previous support so higher lows here um, but we are topping out around this level. So if we can manage to push on above the 561, it does open up a move towards 585 and then try an assault on the 630 area. So I hope that's been informative. Thanks for joining me this week and look forward to seeing you next week.